problem. No handkerchief. Handkerchief. That's not a, not a napkin. A plain white, unused. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a last minute addition to our program. Some of you may know we've been auditioning people, uh, newcomers, and this newcomer audition recently shows a lot of promise. Tonight is his final audition. So please show him your support by giving him a warm welcome. If there is any kind of music that I can call my own, coming from my background, it's clever music. Of course, I've never done it before, but I like the adventure. This adventure begins in a courtyard in Poland, in Krakow, in the Jewish quarter. One way or another, I was listening to klezmer music all of my life. But I was a little apprehensive uh, at first because, you know, everything has to do with forms, and all I had in my mind was a sound. It's unbelievable for us to come here and play in Poland because it's, I mean, this is bringing it back to, you know, where the music comes from, affirming the culture that was largely not destroyed here, not letting it die, and to reaffirm the present state of, of Jewish culture, uh, of Yiddish culture in the world. And I mean, everything, you know, this music comes from Poland, the food we're eating, which is Jewish yeah. food, I mean, our food comes from... Now it's amazing. This is really very strange, isn't it? You yeah. Know? You go to a place like this and you get your egg and it's like a Yiddish in time. Hey, we're going for it in the Oh. Ah, uh, yes. Oh, very what kind of bread do you have? You don't have pita bread, it's flat bread. Pita bread. bread. Uh, matzah. Could it be matzah? Matza not on face of matzo, this, you know. Exactly. Matza, but it's not face of matzo. Rolls. 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 That, you know, it has the railing all around. Sometimes, That's right. You know, the musicians would come sometimes and play here. People would throw down. Where would they play? They would, they would play right here. Oh, people would come and they would come into the courtyard and so play you actually, and throw so down. So these money. walls actually had heard klezmer. We 
you're talking about classical chamber music where there's musical give and take. In this, in classical music, is there is an awful lot of give and take. You know, almost there's a lot of listening that's going on. So it's very, very exciting. Can you imagine when he made this fiddle? Did he ever imagine it will ever play plasma? If he was secretly a Jew. What? Stradivarius. <laughs> Hello, my name is Stradivarius. <laughs> Moshe. Moshe Stradivarius. <laughs> so I think we're ready to do this <laughs> introduction. Almost. <laughs> right. Almost. That comes afterwards. <laughs> All right, now start. So what? So so you have how many sections in this? Introduction. Tarantella. No, no. Sorry. Right. Wrong Introduction, music. first and second verse. What? Session in, spiel. So wait a minute. Wait. Play me the introduction. Here's the introduction. It starts with the accordion. All right. So that's still the introduction. We're still in the introduction. That one. Not what necessarily that many bars. Yeah, but okay. Uh, but depending that's the how you of feel. It, depending on how you feel. Then comes so, no, first but, and second. So, no, but verse. tell me harmonically what you do. G minor, da -da -da -da, G minor, da -da G sharp, diminished. So, it's basically a, a short, simplified version of the exact same pattern that each verse follows. Right. All right. We'll sing the first verse. We've done it. Nice. <laughs> Go ahead to sing the first verse. That was the first verse. This is the second. That's Tito, 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 Tito. Thank you. 
hoping to get a good ending. Huh? <laughs> what was amazing to me is that when I started to play, I mean, it took me about like four or five seconds, and I, I just felt at home. Oh, oh, no, this is the best. Oh, the mixing of the chocolate. Is this our yeah. master chef? Oh, no, this We're is gonna onions. Where is the schmaltz? This is the intensive care unit. <laughs> it's very comfortable. You sit in a restaurant, you eat, you talk. Where is the syringe that it can go separately? I'm sitting at the round table with celebrities, folks. Little they realize I'm a star, but they don't know it yet. What am I going to do? That's it. Good heavens. Now, who dares? Are you daring? Not me. Not me. Not me. No, I want to live through the show. For me, it's kind of very, very natural progression of things. You know, let me have a little kreplach, and let me ask you a little question. <laughs> it's talk. Yes. Did you ever? <laughs> I like the way he said yes. You know, yes. he's an actor. Is besides that being a great yes. violinist. <laughs> did you ever seriously? Did you ever partake in klezmer music? Seriously? Or, yes. Or did I? No. I've actually in the last. Uh, few weeks I've been exposed to it a lot mm -hmm. um, and uh, for the first time I actually uh, tried to play it and it's a lot of fun I, I find it uh, joyous yeah it's and enjoyable joyous exactly. because that's it's here. the whole point it with comes from right here during your working experience early on a lot of pleasant music around when I started working the Catskills in 1935 which was 60 years ago when I was a kid up there it was dance music and klezmer music so different instrumentation, obviously, right? Yeah, but the klezmer was to get your heart started. You know what I mean? The minute you'd walk into the social hall, you know, the guys would play there, you know, where you were dimming and tumbling. And, am right. I right? There was right. A, yeah. a piano player who uh, doubled as the, uh, as the conductor. And the bellhop. And the bellhop and the guy that uh, was the lifeguard. Clarinet, drums, yes. piano, and a violin. That was a four-piece four combination. Mm -hmm. And the funny part was that during the uh, society music, so to speak, they always had a lot of wallflowers there sitting there, you know, people that didn't dance. But when the klezmodem got started, they started, everybody got up. Everybody, it, 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 like it was in their blood to creep right up there. How do you like my dramatics? It was in their blood to creep up there. Like, when am I getting an I'm Oscar sweaty. like you did? I'm going to nominate you just from this lunch. Oh, gee, thank you, Red. See? And that's what happened to Klezmurim. <laughs> the Klezmurim. And then when I played Yiddish vaudeville, the audience would have been lost oh. if you didn't have a couple of. Uh, now, do, now I type know I killed vaudeville. You were in vaudeville? I killed it. I, I made parking lots out of every Yiddish theater on Second <laughs> Avenue. Uh, hello. And I just parted. I'm back where where I started, like a bachelor when I was a kid. But when I started moving, my wife said disapproving. Stay right here, it's better. So I did. Why go and look for shelter? Confused and helter skelter, just to be alone and save a cent. Do a favor, stay right here. It'll work out. Have no fear. Like a stranger, I pay her my rent. I am a border by my wife What an improvement in my life No more problems, never harried I am happily unmarried I am a border by my wife Hey! Now a little mamalution Ich bin schön wie der Single Pink aus euch wie ein Ingel Mit meinem Weibel hab ich sich gegett Gedenkt hab ich zum Muffen Warum Gesicht zum Schluff hat mein Weibel mich übergerät? Wo es darf für sich in Klicken, in Fremde um sich stecken, in sein alleine Rennen sie der Wind. Bleib du immer pink wie früher, sei ja wohl, der Ritz bei mir, wie ein Fremde zu lächeln dem Rennen. Weil ich bin ein Borde bei mein Weib. Männer, ist das ein Teil der Job? She attended me with all this When you can fling, she can shawl us If it, I bought her by my vibe Oh yeah, hey! I was nine years old. I was already in the Yiddish theater. We had five Yiddish theaters on Second Avenue alone. 
at that time. And then we had one vaudeville house, which was a great vaudeville house, on Clinton Street, uh, between Clinton Rivington Theater. and Delancey. That's not too far from here. The uh, Palestine Theater. The Palestine Theater was the movie house. That's right, that was the movie That's house. right, but the Clinton Theater was the well, Yiddish vaudeville with a Yiddish picture. Tell me, when they yeah. played in vaudeville, Klesmer, yes. right? What would the audience do? Would the audience just sort of go they like this or they would seats. jump? They would they jump? They would jump in their seats. People danced in the aisles. And in those days, every uh, Yiddish show had a wedding scene. I see, so that's where the music came in. So that's where the music came in. And uh, they always played after they hit the glass, mazel tov. You know, that was always happening. And then you never went to a wedding without these klezmodum. If you had a wedding without klezmodum, you had no wedding. language uh, accents down, but the feeling I have, and somebody was asking, what do you feel when you play this? And they said, I just feel very, very natural. You know, it's funny, and the tunes come from folk tunes, they come from little popular yeah. marches, yeah. and they work their way into the repertoire. Just like Hasidic uh, songs, they derive from all kinds of music, then the fact that Klezmor and play it, that makes it Jewish. This tune I know from Israel. Oh, yeah. And the words for this tune is, Ben Gurion dances ballet, and Moshe Sharet is following him. <laughs> you know, this was obviously not the words. Well, people make up a lot of words for these tunes. I think that's, well, that's the only words that that's I. Funny. Yeah, that's funny. How's it going? Sing it, sing it. Ben Gurion rocket ballet, ve'achar of Moshe Sharet. Oh, never mind. Oh, you made me sing. Oh, terrible. <laughs> that's really great. That's wow. very funny. Oh, oh boy. I was seven years old. You know, maybe 15 years ago, all you heard at Jewish weddings were Havana Gila, Simon Tov, and Mazel Tov, but now all these old traditions from uh, Europe are coming back again, like the Mazinka, the Russian Cher, and all these wonderful songs. And then there's tunes played when they break the glass. That's Let's a whole hear. other tradition. It's there is its own. Music. Yes. What about right. jitters? You know, the, 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 the kala before, because she says, oh, I don't know if I want to get married. Is there music for that? For one thing, a, a kala bezetsin, a tune for seating a bride, you know, an old style. Tune for seating a bride is a good is a good thing for for that.
Sometimes it's not the bride that gets nervous. It's her father. describing that weddings used to last like seven days and when you listen to some music like that you are not surprised Klezmer means in Hebrew instruments of song. In New York, Klezmer made a marriage with swing. For me, if one can play a Jewish melody like one can sing a Jewish melody, uh, then you've done a great job. Ladies and gentlemen, a solo I did in one of the great choirs, Cooperman's Choir, when I was eight years old and sang with one of the great cantors, Yossela Rosenblatt. For the old timers, they'll remember that name. Ahava Salem, Behesh Yisroel, Amecho Ohovito, Choi Rohum Mitzvois, Chokim Mumish Pohotim. 
ohoi shonu li madito Or the flesh, depending where you come from. You come from flesh? Flesh. My tata is from Varsha. From Varsha office, flesh. Varsha. From where? Your father from Poland. Where from Poland? Warsaw. Also Warsaw. Two Warsaw was there. Bookends. We're bookends. Yeah. My father was born in a place called Tarnopol, which is actually the West Ukraine today. And my mother was actually born about two and a half hour drive from where we were just there in Krakow, you know, the festival. There. She's also from Poland. Poland, yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, as a matter of fact, uh, my father went, when we were the, just there now during the festival, he has not been there since 1931. For me, it was quite moving to see him speak with Kozlowski, especially since Kozlowski is considered by some to be sort of the last serious Jewish musician uh, living in Poland. I have the pleasure no. of introducing you to Mr. Leopold Kozlowski. Big age. Alles all right. Alles best. Alles best. This is my foot here. This is 120 years old. This is 120 years old. Oh, Galiziano. Oh, Galiziano. You're a Galiziano. Yeah, I'm a Galiziano. I'm a Galiziano. I'm a Galiziano. I'm a Galiziano. Yeah, I'm a Galiziano.
Der komponiert, wer ist der Nummer? Das ist Mordechai Gebirtig, der Gebäuerinnen Krukewa. Er hat geschrieben, Massach, Lieder, paar hundert Lieder, in vielen Texten. Und allein gesungen, und allein gespielt. Ich bin ein Stoller. Ich bin ein Stoller, ich bin kein Musiker. Nur, ich habe ihn importiert in Lager Kabelsch, ich habe ihn geschossen auf der Gas. Dann noch hat ihn gefunden. Alle seine Lieder. So, du hast schon, ja, sehr, sehr schöne Lieder. Sehr schöne Lieder, wunderbare Lieder. Reiselot hat umgeschrieben für seine Tochter. A lot of people say, why do you keep doing the Holocaust and mentioning it over and over again? It's important. We went on, on a little trips, you know, in little places that used to have just so many people, you know, so many Jews live there and it's just all gone. Certainly we cannot get all our people back, but maybe we can get more memories, we can get more feelings, so that we don't forget. And that's really the most important thing, is that we cannot forget. There are so many beautiful synagogues in Krakow, so beautiful, and yet without people, without Jewish melody.
outside of the United States or Israel where there are Jewish communities, the audience here, they understand this music still. Even though it hasn't really been heard here very much for 50 years. They understand this music. You don't have to explain it to them. It still resounds here. The nice thing about it is that everybody around is, is sort of accepting and really relishing the, the Jewish culture, you know, and bringing groups from, uh, from all over the world to actually show what it used to be like. It's nice to, to feel that there is a kind of a little rebirth. The public loves it so much that a lot of these bands, they go on the road. Mm, absolutely. And they pack in the place. And you know what's People, been happening? It's a lively thing. They get an uplift from that music. Right. It's very uplifting. And then what's been happening is with the, with the klezmer is that now sort of they are expanding the form. You know, it's, it's not just the klezmer as, as we hope to listen to, but it's also, you know, the, a lot of improvisation, different instrumentation, you know, like That's a right. fantasy on yeah. klezmer no, music. Great. You know, they do a lot of that stuff. What do I come in with? It's obviously you know what you're playing. Yeah. I'm just going to sort of play approximate, and well, that's, that's not good enough. All the time we're playing the melody, just kind of just get in the feeling of the chords. In, the, in that somber one, right, slinky. Yeah, right, right, right. Right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You could use this. I mean, what? Yeah, what but, but, but I, what? Can I use the electric? Please. I'll turn you up really loud. <laughs> <laughs> Finally. It's really fun. No, we play really slow. Yeah. Aren't you tired of those clarinets playing louder than you? <laughs> I had only play. one experience, <laughs> and that was enough. <laughs> but, but no, it's, it's fine. No, let me try that. I want to try this. Cool. I want to try this. Right. I'm going to put my cheap Strat away. I'll just use my regular bow, you okay. know. Yeah. Oh, but uh, can I take that? Sure. Thank you so very much. your solo at this point. And what you want to do is improvise yeah, on but the I gotta scale. Get in the, I gotta get in, in the, the groove. In the groove. Wrong. Do <laughs> <laughs> you have an acoustical violin? I do. Oh, now you will see how it feels. <laughs> <laughs> I know how it feels. That's how I got it. <laughs> All right, I can't. I can't promise I'll do anything, but but you start. You know, I, I wanna I wanna listen some more. I wanna listen some more. You know, maybe I should play the melody and then I'll hand it off to you. Oh, absolutely! The I like the baton. You know, you know, it's like, yeah. And if I miss or if it falls down, don't worry about it. Okay. Here we go. We've got three violins. Yeah. All right. One shoulder rest. Yeah. All right. Ooh. Oh, shoulder. Oh, okay. Ooh. How come I'm 
it was louder when he played it. What? Maybe it Did you turn down the No, no, not <laughs> since he had it. that melody you play it from beginning to the end and that's the end of it but with the cosmetics they took the melody and they started to what do we say pickle it and pepper it and I sort of tried myself to give it something that came to me uh, just uh, absorbing and soaking this kind of music from my childhood and what came out I wasn't sure that I liked but I was getting uh, encouragement from everybody so for me that was a very nice experience
into E minor, which then goes to trio, which you'll hear, and then we do something, and then you can come in as you wish, as you hear us. You'll hear it. Uh, anyway, before we start, I would like to thank all of you for working with me and for uh, bearing with me. You know, I'm, I'm a novice at this thing, and, and you've been great sports about it. So whatever happens tonight, uh, please keep going. You know. <laughs> but anyway, thank you very much. It's been a great pleasure for me. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. You know, when you're dealing with music, you're dealing with the soul of a society. And if there's anything that can be identified as the soul of a society, of this society, Jewish society, it's klezmer music. Music was so, for me, contagious, and I and I basically uh, I caught the bug. Isn't it all about Kane and Moy? Yeah, 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 yeah. 